What's up everybody? Blue Gabe. 2021 lobster season has begun. I've got a whole bunch more of these in that cooler and I'm going to show you in a minute. I'm going to teach y'all how to make the best lobster dish you'll ever eat. Coconut crusted fried lobster bites with a pina colada sauce and I promise you it's amazing. But first we got to go catch these things. So Yesterday was actually opening day. Kelly wasn't feeling great, so a buddy of mine, Nick, and I went out, and we wanted to catch lobster somewhere different, somewhere where I grew up, which was Peck's Lake. It's just right out in front of Stewart. It's really shallow. It's totally different than what you normally see me do. We went. The water was crazy green and freezing cold. Nick actually caught one big one. We're having lobster for dinner. And then I ended up finding one that was a short, but the green slime was so bad. You guys, look at that. That was insane. You literally couldn't even see through it at some point. But enough of that. We pulled up, went off of Jupiter in 80 foot of water, and I went and did work. So y'all watch us catch these, and when we get back, I'm going to show you how to clean them and cook them.
So that was very fun. Dude, the water was crystal clear completely. It was like 80 degrees on the bottom. It was almost not even refreshing. So I'm going to cook one on the grill. Don't need to show that whole process because I will do another lobster video soon. Kelly doesn't want fried lobster. Even though I bet you a hundred bucks she eats half the dish. Amazing. First, I'm going to clean this one. This is actually a molt, which means he just transferred into his new body and shed his old one. He actually pops out right here. His tail comes out and then his head and he backs out. Even his little whiskers, his long antennas, everything comes out and he's super soft like this one right here. Oh, what do you know? Luke just walked in. <laughs> so that's what the inside of a lobster looks like. I'm not exactly sure what the yellow stuff is, but it's probably the same stuff that's in a blue I crab. It's his digestive tract. Oh. And it just pops right out. You could probably eat it, and I'm sure a lot of people do eat it. But I don't think Kelly Young wants to eat it today. Luke, do you want to eat this yellow stuff? Is it eggs? We're yeah. not quite sure what it is. Come look at it. I will tell you, which if you're watching this and you've ate lobster before, that you've caught yourself, you already know this, their blood is crazy sticky. If it gets on stuff, you almost can't get it off. All right, there it is. We're gonna put this one on the grill. Now let me show you how to clean one to do what we're gonna do with them. That's their poop right there. That's their poop? Yeah. <laughs> Luke, did you tell all your fans that we finished the driveway? We probably need to show you guys. For those of y'all that follow along, we've been doing my driveway process and this morning we tore out the last little bit. So let's go show y'all exactly what I grew up doing on the Bobcats. Then when we get back, we'll clean the next one.
those of y'all that don't know we picked up a new cooler company and I was really hesitant about it because so many of these coolers are all made the same 
They've got the same crappy hinges, the same crappy handles, except for this one. Check out how cool these handles are. Now, gator hunting is one of my biggest passions and I absolutely love it. But check out the lid, which a lot of y'all have already seen it. For those of y'all who haven't, that's Jake, my 11 year old, that's me, and that's my son Luke. Gator coolers can put any picture you want or any logo you want on the top of this cooler with this awesome foam pad that they have. They have the machine, they do it all there. All you gotta do is go on their website, pick which cooler you want, and then go to customize. But this is really the best selling point of the cooler. So it comes with these cutting boards that are removable. Yesterday I put 10 gallons of ice in here and it's all pretty much still in here. So this side I have my bait because we went deep dropping. This side I have some lionfish and a lobster and this side the other lobster. If you're out on a boat, you can put drinks and sandwiches and bait and it's all divided. It doesn't get, you know, your bait's not going to get on your sandwiches. I feel like that one's the biggest. He is the biggest. Look at that big old bad boy. Come here. Nice Let's see if he can get you on your head. <laughs> oh. You have to wash your hair tonight. Yeah, you're going to actually have to take a bath. I'm going to fry this one, so I'm going to clean him just a little bit different. Always clean him over something to where the blood drains into it. I like to make that cut because then I get all of that head meat that comes out at one time. You can take these heads and make some awesome soup. Ooh, I'll have to try that lobster head soup. Now, this is my Danko 7 inch Pro Series. You need a good, strong, sharp knife for this side. Because this one, this one is hard. It's definitely not molted. See how I put my hand on here for pressure? It takes some strength to cut that. And you pop it open. Now we didn't devein these because I can devein them right now, just like that. This meat, most of the time, not all the time, will just pop right out of the shell. If it won't pop right out of the shell, you can boil it just for a split second and then it will come out. Look at that. That was a fat tail. It was a fatty. Look at that. All 100% grade A, fresh, self-caught lobster meat. Now there is one last process I like to do. If I'm grilling them, I don't do this. But do you see the red film? That's actually, you know, in another month or so, the next time he molts, that will be his new body. It has a distinct taste to it that unless you've had it without it, you won't know the difference. But once you've cut it off one time and ate it, it's totally different. So pieces like this, I just set to the side so when I make a soup, and I'm going to show you how I do the rest of this. I actually come in here, take my knife, and just flay it off as much as possible. It's a little time consuming, but I promise you, once you try it like this way, you won't go back. And it's not a ton. That, that's all I'll take off that one side. And I'll come in here. This one's not as bad because it's completely hard, but when they start softening up a little bit. So I take these little pieces like this and I feed Dad. our guppy. Now Frank, for those of y'all who haven't seen us in a while, Frank, our blue crab died and that's the little guppy that I caught when I caught Frank. He's still also, kicking strong. So. I also got the shade to feed the fish. Now I have it all cleaned off how I want it. I'm going to cut that little piece off the end. And I'm going to cut it in about one inch cubes. Just like so. If you've never tried this style fried lobster and you eat lobster regularly, you will be blown away, I promise you. Now, once I got the one inch cubes, I make another sliver because I don't want it to be a big chunk. I don't want to have to fry it so much to get it done. Like that piece is already good. This big thick piece, just come right through there and make it to where it'll sort of lay flat. So you butterfly it? Yeah. Now these, this is still good meat and I will use that and I'll feed this to the eel. 
Let's show him the eel real quick. This dude's super cool. The light's not on right now. We had to turn the light off because we got a new water machine. But see how there's nothing in there? Just watch. I think this is his first time eating lobster. Well, looks like he likes it. He can go off that whole entire piece. Come on, buddy. Come all the way. Oh, he's lazy now. <laughs> the food rolled right to him. He's choking on lobster. <laughs> There's another eight inches of eel in the dirt. All right. So I've got it all cut up how I want it in perfect chunks. I need to cook a lot more than this because I know as soon as Jake comes in, he's going to want to eat a bunch. So I'll do a little batch for you guys right now. Uh, Lowry's garlic salt. Yeah. I got something to show the camera. What do you got to show? When I was at the Keys with my mom, I stepped on one of their antennas right there and it hurt. Hurt really bad? Yeah. I bet you won't do that again. If you've never caught lobster and you're watching us catch them, they're going <laughs> So when I pull them out of the hole, I have them by right here. Because if you grab these, they break. You'll lose the lobster every time. So when you see me reach in that hole, I'm reaching in there and I'm grabbing him right here by his knuckles because they won't break. But what happens is he goes <laughs> and sticks those horns, which are crazy, crazy sharp into your knuckles and it hurts so bad but look at all the spikes I, you know what I, out of all my lobster videos i've never explained that every one of these spikes are so crazy sharp and it's all the spikes are pointing out so when he's in the hole and you reach in the spikes are poking you and that's his you know that's how he his defense mechanism so i've never ever explained that when you see me reaching in there to grab them a lot of times I actually come from underneath him and I'll grab him like that and I'll pull him out and then I grab him in my other hand. So I'm actually glad I thought about that. Thanks Luke for telling us that. Got a bag with just about a cup of flour. I'm going to put the lobster in and I'm going to shake it up just like you would shake anything else up that you're going to fry. But I really want this flour to stick to this lobster really well. So I'm going to let it sit in here. And while I let it sit, we're going to make the sauce real quick. And here I have just salted butter. I've got it on high, but I just turned it on. And I'm going to add just a douse of pina colada mix. About that much. Let me see it. All right, so once it comes to a good boil, add your coconut rum. Now, don't worry about the coconut rum because all the alcohol will actually boil out. Then I'm going to take a teaspoon of garlic. This is the fresh garlic. We, we grew this ourselves right out back. Not that much. The more it boils down and the more that alcohol evaporates, it'll turn into that thick sauce. All right, so next step, we've got grated coconut, just like that. Now, if I had time, I would put it in a blender and cut it up even more, because you want it small. You want it about the same size as the panko that I'm gonna mix it with. But this will still work just as fine. Now, a lot of people are probably thinking, I don't like coconut. I've served this to a lot of people and a lot of them have said they don't like coconut and every single one of them has loved this dish. So I did about 50-50 coconut to panko. I'll come back to that in a minute. We've got our panko, we've got our lobster. Now we need our buttermilk. You can beat up two eggs and some milk and it'll work just like buttermilk, but I find that buttermilk is better. Just a good chunk of lobster. Dip it in there real well. I like to pat it down. Just like so. Set it over there to dry. Hmm. 
if you're cooking for like a party or for some people that have ate a lot of lobster and you just quietly make this dish for them don't even tell them what it is make this dish for them and just let their mouths do the talking when they bite into it you'll know you did the right choice even just doing what I did with cutting the red stuff off the meat and then just frying it however you like to fry it is a game changer. It probably helps um, the breading stick to it too if you cut off the red stuff. The red stuff just has a really strong taste to it and a ton of people right now that eat lobster are thinking oh that unless you've ever cut it off you won't know what I'm saying because I've ate lobster my whole life with it on and then thought it couldn't get any better. Once you take it off, you then see. To me, it's just like, it's chewy. Yeah, it's you know, got it's a really to, strong, strong taste to it. So. Hard to cut. That's about the consistency you're looking for. God, the smell of that smells so amazing. Now, take your lobster and just Put them in the pool. Now both coconut and panko will brown really, really, really fast. So don't put too much in and you better watch it. You only want it to cook for about two minutes, but do not put it in there too hot because it'll burn. One thing I forgot to tell you about the cooler is if you use promo code blue game, you can save, uh, I think it's 10% off the entire order and that's a pretty good chunk. Just like everything else that you see me use on my channel often, my knives, my reels, coolers, the awesome lights on my duck boat, almost everything I use regularly, I have a promo code that will save you a bunch of money. All right, we're gonna cook this, get her lobster off the grill and see y'all at the table in just a minute. But can y'all smell that? This is one of those dishes that, I wish y'all were here to eat and enjoy with us. Trust me, I wish all of y'all could come here and eat all these meals with me. This is going to be amazing, but I'm gonna let Kelly try it first. Dad, this antenna just broke. Son, are you gonna try some lobster? I wanna eat this so bad right here. You probably choke. Oh. Kelly. See, I'm a coconut lover and a lobster lover. It's amazing. I thought you wanted your lobster grilled though. Uh. <laughs> <clears throat> Let Luke have a little bite of that. Here, get, I got Luke a little piece right here. Yeah. Here, Lukey. That's KFC. Tell me what you think. Is that good Kentucky Fried Chicken? Does it taste different? No. Is it good? This tastes like so much like Popeye's chicken. <laughs> you guys see that? Y'all already know it's amazing. Dad, I dare you to put this mm. in your mouth and chomp it up. Eat it. I dare you. Like a little chippy. Mm, mm, mm. Good. Before it gets dark, let's go outside and look at the finished product of my driveway. All right, this is it. This is the finished product. All we're waiting on now is concrete. My boats are over there in my neighbor's yard. It's super awesome for him allowing me to do that because we can't go three days without fishing. They're not going to pour this till Wednesday. Today is Sunday. That's it. Just wanted to show y'all and tell y'all thanks for watching. That was an amazing lobster dinner. What, what exactly are you doing? Here, come here. I want to show you something real quick. Hold on. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Come here real quick. This is the tunnel to the pirates. Duck down and hide. Duck down. Go, squat down. Ow. Duck down, son. Hey, hey, duck. duck down. I'm coming. Oh, no. No. Dad. Are you seeing the pirates? No. Oh, it made me nauseous looking at it. <laughs> All right, y'all, thanks for watching. I've got a lionfish video coming up very soon that I'm gonna do something even equally as amazing as what I just cooked. Y'all saw the lionfish already. I caught them the same day, but I separated the videos 
Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for checking out Kelly Young's channel. You want to you say something? Like a bye or see you later? Or adios, amigos? Adios, amigos. Hey, see ya.